Hi, in this video we're taking a look at interactive dashboards within Dynamics 365. So this is just a reminder for those of you that are already on the Unified Interface or pointing something out for people just coming on to the Unified Interface. Yeah, you still have your sort of static dashboards up there in dashboards, but interactive dashboards are actually on each sort of area, each entity. So if we come into here and open dashboards, then we're looking at uh, an opportunity dashboard here and you can configure how this uh, operates. And we're looking at uh, this quarter on the, uh, the filter, but we can bring in a visual filter as well and start to filter down by pipeline phases, which would be named whatever your phases are. Ratings, again, these are just examples of how you can uh, operate these things so we can quickly come in and just click and look at all the, uh, the hot rated ones and then the ones that are in the perhaps development phase and we've got to two filters on there and we can quickly uh, reset and clear and come back. So it's a combination of the views and the charts um, that you have within your system all in one place. Uh, with the time frame you can come up here, we have a default time frame of set to this quarter for this report but we can easily look at the, the last quarter or this week, last week or whatever sort of custom time frame we want when we put in a from date and a to date. Um, it isn't just for things like opportunities, can be created on accounts to look at different types of relationships, who owns the account, etc. Just drawing the data all into one place where you can quickly filter and move around again. Another typical area where this being used is on cases. Also note that you can switch over to tile view here as well if you want to, just to get the numbers of the, uh, the records in the various streams that you have set up. You can switch back to a stream view there or you can turn on the global filter and start to filter down more by the you know, estimated revenue between a particular range. Just a little bit more interactivity than you get on your standard uh, dashboards and you can always hit refresh or to get the latest data. Uh, one thing to point out here is you don't create these dashboards in the same way that you create them um, through the dashboard uh, area here. You have to create them within the entity itself behind the scenes as system administrator. So here we are behind the scenes looking at the opportunity entity and the dashboards and the dashboards are created here but once you're in this area they are created in pretty much the same way that a regular dashboard is created and you can um, add in more panes and whatever sort of filters and views you want here and whatever charts you want there and what sort of standard time frame you're looking at when you open up the dashboard so they are created there by your system administrator but they can be consumed within CRM as normal so that's uh, interactive dashboards